How do you make cinematic shots? Episode 10 in Season 1 of the anime series Chainsaw Man showcases many examples of dynamic cinematic shots, so let's try to break them down. In cinematic shot number 1, we see a tighter composition around power, focusing on her expression, as Denji appears partially in the foreground, slightly out of focus. This helps to separate power from Denji visually. A longer camera lens is likely being used in the shot to restrict our view of the environmental space and focus more on power and her acting at the story beat. Our eyes are really drawn to her expression, seen through her eyes and face. In cinematic shot number two, we see Denji visiting Aki in the hospital with the back of Aki's head appearing on screen left and slightly out of focus in order to create a sense of spatial depth. The bottom of the frame cuts off Denji above his knees. The doorway acts as an element around Denji, creating a visual frame around him, separating him from the other elements within the shot. We see a little bit of the ceiling plane at the top left corner of the frame, giving us a sense of the perspective grid within the shot. In cinematic shot number three, Aki remains inside the hospital and the camera is placed low to the ground, tilted upward toward Aki on the bed along with the presence of a devil. There are overturned elements on the ground, including legs of a stool and a book on the ground acting as foreground elements that are slightly out of focus. The perspective cues within the room also suggest a three-point perspective grid within the composition. In cinematic shot number four, we see a slightly wider shot of the same hospital room with a distressed Aki on the bed in the center of the frame. The perspective cues within the elements of the room suggest a three-point perspective grid. The backlit window behind Aki frames him within the shot and also isolates him from overall visual space, suggesting his emotional and mental state at this story beat. In cinematic shot number five, Denji appears in the reflection of a window with structural elements of the city in the background that are out of focus. The perspective cues of the window grid in the foreground suggest a three-point perspective grid within the shot. Staging Denji as a translucent reflection within the composition also conveys his emotional and mental state in the scene. In cinematic shot number six, we see a wider shot with the camera staged further back in space, capturing Denji fighting against his teacher, Kashibe. There's a row of graves in the foreground that are blurred out and acting as foreground elements. The camera is placed close to the ground and we can see the sky plane. This composition informs us of the general space where the fight is taking place. In cinematic shot number seven, the camera tracks behind power, following her and capturing her in a dramatic upshot at a Dutch angle as she rushes toward Denji fighting Kashibe. The composition and camera movement of the shot heightens the drama of the moment, and it makes us feel what power is feeling as she races towards the other characters. A wider angle camera lens might be used here to track with power, as well as showing the environmental space around her. In cinematic shot number 8, the legs of additional agents appear in the foreground as Aki remains in the hospital bed, slightly out of focus in the midground. This is an interesting way to stage the movement within the scene, but it also highlights Aki's emotional distance and isolation as he's framed very tightly within the shot. Keeping Aki out of focus in this scene while the other agents are in focus helps to also suggest this emotional distance. In cinematic shot number 9, the camera is placed low to the ground, tilted upward with the top of Denji's head, upper chest, and his arm out of focus in the foreground. We see the back of power in the midground, and Kashibe appears smaller in proportion within the frame, closer to screen right, walking away from power in Denji. The shot helps to convey the general orientation of the characters while covering Kashibe's exit from the scene. In cinematic shot number 10, the camera is placed high above power in Denji, with power's hand planted very close to the camera lens and appearing larger in proportion than the rest of her body. The horizon line appears out of frame above the top of the frame with this high angle shot. The perspective cues on power and Denji suggest a three-point perspective grid within the composition. In cinematic shot number 11, the camera tracks with the blood arrow that power hurls down a hallway and toward Kashibe, who is right outside the front door of the apartment. The camera is tilted at a Dutch angle and is focused in on the incoming arrow, putting power and the surrounding apartment's structural elements out of focus. With the arrow in focus, our eyes lock on it as it moves through the space, helping to create a dynamic feel of movement within the shot. In cinematic shot number 12, the camera is placed higher above ground, closer to the ceiling as Kashibe swings around to kick at Denji who is trying to attack him. We see some of the blood spears dropping from the ceiling and are slightly out of focus, acting as foreground elements. The camera is also tilted at a Dutch angle showing the ground plane of the walkway along with a stream of blood drops floating slowly through the air, conveying the motion from Kashibe's kick. In cinematic shot number 13, the camera is placed lower to the ground looking through a pair of glasses that help frame a defeated Denji on the ground as Kashibe stands over him. This is an interesting way to frame the resulting action from the fight scene by placing the camera further away from the characters as we are reminded of the environmental space they were fighting in. The glasses actually move toward the camera lens in the shot resulting from the fight between the characters. So overall these technical descriptions of each shot helps break down the elements of what makes them cinematic. The language of film as shown in composition, lens choice, and camera movement are well executed in this episode to heighten the drama and action.